Good morning! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, hi. So my name is Gabrielle. Today we're vlogging. What? Vlogging is my favourite, I must say. I'm just completely obsessed with watching other people's vlogs. I just, whilst I'm cleaning, I'll put it on in the background. Whilst I'm brushing my teeth, I'll put it on in the background. Whilst I'm walking somewhere, I would literally have YouTube on all the time. I just love to get an insight into people's lives. Ellie Darby, completely obsessed at the moment. I just she's just a great gal you know she's just lovely so i'm like going back to two years ago and watching her vlogs which you know could be a bit creepy but to me she's just great and she's fun to watch so that's what i do in my spare time also sophia and chintzia she's fantastic and i've also found this new girl called only bells and um, which i'll link them all down below because they're really great to watch today today it's not that exciting because we're still kind of in lockdown but i've got a few bits going on so this morning playing tennis <sighs> Who am I? Honestly, I used to love sports when I was younger. I used to play tennis with my brother, I used to do netball, I used to do sprinting, but it's safe to say that all went away post, basically when I did A-levels. I mean, we just skipped all of that and went to the gym because we thought that was a cool thing to do. And then in uni, just gym, and I never really joined um, a society, a club or anything like that. So, getting back into tennis, really excited, although it is raining, however, I believe the floor is slip proof so fingers crossed also apple watch recently new it really motivates me to work out and move each day obviously that's like 100 percent recommend this i pondered upon it for like three weeks four weeks and then i was like no 100 percent just get it and it's fantastic it's brilliant because you can take calls if say if your phone's upstairs and you're downstairs which is really good if you're working from home and you get a call from someone then you know they're calling you don't miss a call and you know it just helps you stay more on top of your life in my opinion so that's that so i've got tennis and then after that i'm gonna go to boots <laughs> what it's like living the crazy life or what living the dream life we get to go to a shops right now i mean obviously all of the other shops are open like my dream is to go to zara at this stage but i feel like that's not an essential and i shouldn't really be going you know to the shops just to browse clothes when i can do it online so I'm definitely going to go to Boots though because I really need some new beauty bits, I need some hair removal, I really want to do um, a nice manicure and pedicure so I'm going to get some like nice treatments and oils and moisturisers, things like that. I want to get a gel nail kit as well because I don't think I'm going to be going back to nail salon anytime soon at this stage so I waited and waited. This is just like, I feel sick, like ew, like Shrek fingers or what? So I'm going to look at doing that online, though they're quite expensive. Um, Sid and Al, they uh, Sid Link's one, it's 90 quid, so I don't really want to do that, but if you've got to make the investment, you've got to make the investment. So, tangent. So this is my tennis outfit, just black crop top, got a sports bra underneath, and the cutest little white tennis skirt. I've literally had this for years, and once, came in useful to actually play the sport so love it i think it's very cute and girly the cutest little tennis club Ah, oh, so in the summer they do like barbecues here and socials got a little bar in there you'll find me in there at all times just finished tennis and you can see what the weather was like when we stop you'll see the wind so i call that dedication to the mat got my cap on to protect the hair you know not really one to go out in the rain but here i am look all crazy anyway but do you say i'm the new cell wills you said it you got a natural gift haven't you i'm the new serena williams literally love it it's so fun Okay, back from tennis, and I just thought I would show you the stats because I am an absolute stat oh, geek. So, we played for 52 minutes and 503 total. Average heart rate, 152 beats per minute. Wowzers, honestly, I'm really impressed. Hello, I'm back. So, the reason I popped on was because I wanted to show you about these products. Olaplex. Everybody's been raving, honestly. I've just heard non-stop ranting and raving about Olaplex so I gave them a try I invested my money I also got the oil as well so last night I did an overnight treatment with this because it says you're meant to leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes but longer if needed now I did a bit of research on YouTube and this one girl said leave it on overnight if you've got really damaged hair 
of which I bloody do. It's just broken in all areas possible, at the back, at the sides. It's just like, <laughs> so I need to fix that. And before I blow dry, I'm just going to pop this oil on as well. So I'm hoping it'll get a bit of shine, give it a bit of life, and we will be on our way to a great hair story. So I'll let you guys know how I do after I've blow dried this very damaged hair. Hello. This is my new haircut. Can you believe it? Not me. Guys, I am just so impressed with this, honestly, it's brilliant. So as I was saying before, I did the overnight treatment and then I put the oil in my hair before I blow dried it. Gave it a little trim and this is the result. Oh, guys, honestly, the ends were just like so brittle. They were sticking out everywhere. There were flyaways. These bits up here were completely broken. I always had to pomade them when I was doing a bun. And so I'm just completely obsessed and happy with this result just from a product. It's brilliant, like I don't have to go to the salon to achieve this look. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Give it a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna do the treatment every time I wash my hair, which is just once a week because if I wash my hair more, it goes dry and it's really counterproductive. It doesn't make sense. So hopefully in six weeks, I'm gonna look like a princess with long flowing locks and it's gonna be excellent. No, I'm joking, but hopefully it will be a bit longer and it will be a bit stronger. That's all I can ask for in life. So yeah, tonight I'm just gonna I've got my wine, chin chin. I'm gonna probably just pop to shops, get some dark chocolate, get some nuts, watch some TV. Guys, oh my gosh, let me get comfy. Have you guys watched Real Housewives of Atlanta? It's unreal. So if you've heard of Tiffany from CBB. She was in it with Gemma. They had huge arguments. She was a diva. She was savage. It was the most amazing entertainment ever. Highly recommend watching the YouTube clips if you haven't seen those. Basically, it's women like that just within one show and it is brilliant and I know there's a few there's Miami New York and I've always just been a bit overwhelmed with them there's just too many shows and so I thought, oh no I'll leave it but I actually put it on <laughs> it's brilliant it's just if you love like trash easy tv then I do highly recommend so that'll be my evening and yeah I will see you tomorrow for all boots haul night guys if none of you have tried the roasted smoky flavor almonds I highly recommend I'm obsessed with almonds, salted almonds. These are like barbecue flavor and they are 10 out of 10. So I highly recommend. Hello, excuse my little jelly baby in the window. Um, <laughs> funny white man van um, looking at why the hell I'm vlogging. Hello guys, yes, I'm with. Anyway, I'm at Boots, I'm here for my big day out. I don't think it's that big and exciting because Boots has stayed open this whole time. It's classified as an essential shop. They do have other shops like Next and New Look, Outfit, Shady, but I don't need any of that stuff. You can literally get it all online. So I'm really excited, honestly, guys. This is what my life has come to that I'm just buzzing. I'm completely buzzing. Hello. I've got some Oh, okay. No, I'm all right. Thank you so much. Got one. <laughs> I've got a TV, I don't need one. Is, it, is this your point for me on the phone No, this is YouTube. I vlog. Yeah. You can talk to friends. Pardon? You can talk to friends. Online friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Just the modern online friends. The modern world. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Anyway, yeah, so basically off to boots i go for my crazy day out welcome welcome to the bathroom so back from boots and i thought i'd just show you what i got so other than the body bits like the hair removal things like that i got foundation maybelline superstay 24 hour full coverage i was really impressed when i did the tester of this which i'm not actually sure if you're allowed to do but they had testers out so whatever but it looks really smooth on my hand so I'm very excited to try that and then I also got a super light concealer just to brighten when I'm doing more full coverage makeup because I have an everyday tart shape tape concealer which is absolutely amazing I highly recommend that but that's more my skin tone I need something a bit lighter when I'm trying to contour and you know change the shadows the lighting everything like that then I got this gorgeous superstay matte lipstick this reminds me of the kylie cosmetics 
Dolce K one which I literally got when it first came out when I was at uni like two years ago and I'm just like scraping the bottle trying to get some out so I was really excited when I saw this because I think that it's probably an exact dupe. I also got Maybelline new baby skin instant pore eraser because oh my gosh literally guys I get the biggest pores on my nose I don't know why so I've got to find some magic to literally get rid of these big mummers. I'm not sure why, like if anyone has any advice, please let me know, like do I need to exfoliate more but my skin's really sensitive and that gets a bit sore. I just don't really know what to do and they're not like blackheads or whiteheads either, they're just, they're just pores, they're just there, like it's not like I can clean them out or anything like that. So advice on that would be useful. Right, so I'm going to start off with the primer and see how I get on with that. So just got a mirror here. First impression it does seem quite moisturising. Well I have used a primer before they seem like quite dry but this feels super nourishing so that's good. I mean I can't say that it's made a difference on my pores but maybe once I put foundation on. Oh, nice right. Need to clean my beauty blender. You just wear concealer day to day to hide my dark circles. You can see here, not foundation. So, you know, guys, I really do want to invest in a tinted moisturiser with SPF because I've been reading up on skincare and everything, and I think I need to make more of an effort with protecting my face when I go in the sun because when it's really hot, oh my gosh, literally last week it was 31 degrees, wasn't it? How glorious. Okay, right, first impression, you don't need a lot of product. Maybe I should have waited before I skirted like one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, okay, right. Um, so I really want to start making an effort on protecting my face from skin cancer, fine lines, because I do kind of have permanent lines just from like smiling, laughing, frowning, which is fine, I don't mind that, but you know, I just want to try and help this little baby doll skin out. What do you think? I really like it. I mean, I just look quite tired, so maybe I just need some concealer. Let's see if this is, all guys, oh my god, this might be a bit too bright. Right, I'm not going to put on much because we're going to have to try and blend the hell out of this. I look like I'm trying to impersonate someone. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Should I be panicking like this? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Maybe because I didn't wash the beauty blend and it's still got a bit of the foundation on. It will blend nicely. Okay, I'm actually... Okay, so on the camera it looks a bit crazy, but in this mirror it doesn't look as wild. Let's get in there, let's get in under those eyes. Okay guys, what are we thinking? Do I look psycho or do I look normal? I'm just trying to hide these dark circle guys, you know, it's just, it's not too much to ask for. Okay, right, so it's actually not too bad, I didn't need to panic. It actually looks quite nice. The only thing is, I don't know, I just think I look quite greasy. I need to put some powder on, but oh, I'm just not doing that now. I'm sorry, I'm literally just going back to lie in bed to watch Real Housewives. So I'm, I'm, I'm not putting on a full face of makeup. What do you guys think? I mean, this is only high street, so I think I'm quite impressed to be honest with you. Look! Number two. Right. On to the lippy. Mmm, okay. Let's give it a moment to dry. Dry, dry, dry. <gasps> okay, here I am. What do we think? By the way, these earrings are gorgeous. They're from ASOS. Love them. They're like six pounds. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, oh my gosh, I'm loving the lipstick. Take me back to my Kylie Jenner lip kit days. How fantastic. Literally, I used to be obsessed with this lip colour in uni. It's all that I would wear. And it's brilliant because it just 
doesn't rub off. Yeah, overall I'm really impressed. Um, I would like to see the makeup once I've got some bronzer on, some blush, contouring, the whole kit and caboodle. But I'm just for everyday MAC up. Yeah, love it. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm literally just going to go and chill and watch Real Housewives. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!